Most recently, what's happened is that we've figured out that um, inflammation, uh, inflammation defined as a very particular kind of uh, activation of the uh, immunological response, collaborates with um, uh, chemicals uh, to cause cancer through a mechanism that we're beginning to identify. And so going back to, again, to asbestos, it's very likely that the asbestos particles um, cause a particular kind of inflammation. We don't know this for asbestos fully yet, but cause a very particular kind of inflammation, which ultimately leads to, to cancer. Now, why is that important? It's important because all of a sudden, the universe of things that cause cancer has widened. Um, and now- And become specified. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And now, all of a sudden, you know, really, I would say years and years of after years and years of waiting, we have a new theory that it's, uh, you know, cancer is caused by mutations. Yes. It's caused by abnormal cell division. Yes. But it is also caused by an inflammatory uh, milieu. Uh, now, that leads to a whole host of new potential carcinogens that need to be evaluated. I'll give you a couple of examples. One great example that people are now very concerned about are these forever chemicals. Generally speaking, these inflammatory chemicals tend to be like forever chemicals. So the immune system tries to metabolize them, swallow them up, clean them up. They can't do it. And in response to that, you get inflammation and cancer. And it's a big deal because we are suddenly finding that we can explore the world, the chemical world and the biological world to some extent, and really begin to think about, you know, is it carcinogenic, is it not, and how to mitigate and remove them, etc. We don't know the answer to, for instance, these forever chemicals. But just to give you, you know, how, how it changes practice, I, for instance, I threw away all my Teflon uh, wear because Teflon is a consequence of one of these forever chemicals. So I, I, I now cook only on non-Teflon pans. Now, and and, and would you say, is, that, say, is that proven in your view? No, 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 no it's no, not. No, 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 no. So we don't need to tell everybody yet yeah, yeah. to get rid of Teflon. Please because, don't I mean, do that. You know, but you're being overly, I'm being abundantly overly, cautious. I'm being abundantly cautious.